Now, why are you tracking my lips already? It shouldn't be. Hmm. Strange. Ah, there we go. Just need to be calibrated a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Testing one, two, three. So the video doesn't play, but it thinks it does. Interesting. Hmm. Something just flash. Hopefully there's nothing. <laughs> How do I set up 2D props? Props is broken or something. And here we go. Oh, wrong frame. There you go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. It is Wednesday. We are continuing our adventures in Outward, hopefully this time with less chaos on the part of my computer. Um, the last time I tried to do a gorilla stream yesterday on metal units to, well, was it yesterday? A couple days ago on metal units to see if this would, if I would still crash and I was able to get through a session of metal unit, a speed run if you so prefer without any problems, so I'm hoping that will fall through for this session as well. I do apologize for the recurring issues that were continuing for a couple of weeks now. It really messed with our game time was starting to dishearten me, so to speak. But we are here now and things are hopefully looking good. Hopefully. Without further ado, let me go ahead and open up 
uh, middle unit, or not middle unit, shit. <laughs> Let me open up outward, art, outward, and let's get going. Need to sign to GOG really quick. 1.5 patch installed. For Cyberpunk's 2077. Be nice to play that again. I might play that for stream too. <laughs> Made with Unity. I just realized I can't hear anything. <laughs> Sound settings are, are such a mess. One second. I can fix this. Weird. Can I still not hear anything? Oh, it's really soft. There we go. So you guys lowered the volume so much. The music in this game is exceedingly loud, so you have to forgive me for that, unfortunately. It may not seem like it at first, but believe me, it's very, very loud. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on it. Watching my graphics card settings on the side, hoping that the underclocking I did to it will be enough to permanently solve our issues moving forward. I don't want to stop streaming, you know. How unfortunate would that be? Very unfortunate. So when we last left our hero, I was roaming around here. There's a little bit of slowdown, but very unnoticeable, honestly. In fact, it's kind of interesting. I'm able to run my avatar and run this game at the same time with decent... I wonder what changed. Probably helps I was able to hide VC faces, avatar, so that's fewer resources. Oh man, that darkness always gets me. It's 7 in the evening right now, so I probably should just go to bed somewhere. In fact, I could go to bed here and they won't have any problem with it, which is really nifty. Or I could just set up a, t a tent. <laughs> set up a tent right here. I wonder if they planned for that, that people were just going to set up tents underneath the uh, roofs and stuff. So I sure as hell am not spending my gold just to <laughs> sleep in, in here. Are you kidding? No way, Jose. No way. It says here that I'm going to get sun issues if I sleep that long, but I don't see how they figure that. Reduces your max mana, huh? Eh, whatever. Let's get at least six hours. Sleep through the evening. Then, we're gonna head off into the wide world looking for quests and adventure. Of which I'm sure there's plenty in town. In fact, we're supposed to go... We could learn magic in the mountain if we wanted to do that, but... For now, I don't really want to learn magic just yet. I want to get used to the game world first before I take such a wild step. Because my understanding is magic is kind takes a while to learn. You have to go through an arduous journey up a mountain to visit a magical ley line to do it and whatnot. Hmm. 
Even with my Nomad backpack, it looks like I still have maybe a little too much junk in my inventory. I'll need to... And I can't store any of this because I don't have a place to store it yet. So what I'll need to do instead... Is eat some breakfast first off. This food spoils, so it's better to, you know... You cannot keep it in? Oh, I'm still sick, that's why. Oh, fine. We'll just have to wait, I guess. sand armor, huh? I should also think about finding a lantern, a new lantern, since my current one is busted and I didn't get the option to fix it when I was wandering around town. Looks like there's no sleeping cycle for these characters, otherwise I shouldn't be able to go to what could I do for you? Loudhammer right now. Alright. Alright. He has such a sexy voice. <laughs> My pocket's over full. I kind of want to keep the trog staff because it lights up. I can't believe they won't let me just repair this. Like, what the hell, man? Come on, lad hammer. What can I do for you? Alright. The last time I did this, he took my money and didn't repair my lantern, which really annoyed me. I don't know how to repair the lantern, to be honest. That's cool. Instantly cures infections. Put a pinch of salt. Grilled shrooms. And I already know this. So I need what could to I do for get you? rid of it. All right. Eight silver for that. Very convenient. Where am I going to store my stuff? I haven't decided yet to which of these paths I'm going to take yet either. Going to the east, the west, or the south. I think I want to go find the broken ship that was supposedly in the southwest first. That uh, Yazan told me about. So that's probably going to be... So after I'm ready to leave, that's probably going to be my first order of business. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah, if I recall correctly, they mentioned also that there's some trainers around here. People that know skills that they can teach me. Or so I've heard, anyway. Is there something you need? Whenever you need. Hmm. Not only that, Using okay. what your environment pro Nice speaking with you. Is there Let's something buy you need? Something. I can't afford any of these things. I only got 27 silvers at the moment. Now, eventually, I will need to learn how to craft these cool things, but I think I know most of this stuff already. I'll come back, or maybe I can just go and, you know, mine more of this material to bring back home to sell to this guy. In fact,. There is actually, I found a cave early in an earlier playthrough underneath the town 
that had some people hiding in it. My assumption is I could probably go there instead. I should also find a stash to stash my stuff in so that I don't lose everything again when I die. Oh, I'm thirsty. Drink up. Where is the stash? There's one outside. You know, maybe what I should do... No, that's not a good idea. What I could do, actually, is I could buy multiple bags. Drop one bag of stuff near my stuff over there in someone's house. And buy the... And then bring an empty one with me on my journey. Not sure if that's how they intend the game to be played. Is there but something you need? There is a way around in my immediate problem. Alternatively, it'd be nice to learn how to make a bag of my own, so I can just make new bags as I need them. What am I going to do? I have too much stuff. And nowhere to store it in. Even the salt here it weighs quite a bit. I can't even eat any food because I'm still recovering. From my earlier stupidity of eating this thing. Nice. Do I have any anti-disease? Yeah, that one doesn't work on disease. Hex cleaner is well named, I think. Cures infections. It takes hours after drinking this to f fully recover from indigestion. So it does cure indigestion, but it just takes a while. Nothing to do about that, I guess. I don't want to sell my food. I know I probably should, but I don't want to. But I do need to drop something here. Hmm. You know, this would be much easier if I still had a home. I like this guy's armor. Alright, I got it. I'm going to... Most of my stuff is food, and a lot of this stuff is going to rot away anyway. So... Instead, I'm going to make the painful decision to sell my food. Since I can't eat any of it anyway, and it's going to spoil. Or will I? Alright, fine. I'll spend the money in a new bag. The things I do... It's 6 in the morning. In game, in game at six in the morning. Is there something you need? Yeah, 
Yep. There goes my money. There goes my money. Put the torch away so that we don't run out of torch power. Equip the empty bag and dump the big bag over here with full of stuff. Rather, no, uh, put this in here. Put the Nomad backpack, equip my trusty hatchet, bring the arrows as well, bring the bow. Bring a shield. Bring a torch. Bring one bag. Bring endurance potion. Uh, leave the life potions because those cost a lot. Oh, my indigestion's gone. Ha! Huh. Eat some ocean for cuss. Eat some tartine before it gets bad. All right, that should be good. Now we're ready to go adventure. I'm surprised I don't have any bandages left. I thought I still had some. Those are kind of important, you know. Uh-oh. Hmm. Guess I'll need to find more of those later. And meanwhile, let's go ahead and go on an adventure. No mushroom shield inventory. I wonder if I go back, if I can get a Mushroom Shield again. So, you know, that would be kind of useful. Now then, onwards and upwards to get mighty... Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have just put them here, couldn't I? In this junk pile. Where I put another plank shield. Now then. Where did I find that place? That special place? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Under here, right? Yeah, underneath here. I wonder if there's a wonder if there's a way into back into my lighthouse from this entrance. And I wonder if things respond. Oh, they did respond. Who'd have thought? Including the bedroll and the bread. 
Gonna need that bread later. Despite this game being relatively hardcore, it does have quite a few parts to it which greatly ease open your experience, I guess, like the fact that this is just sitting here. Mining pickaxe. Gonna raise the volume of my headset a little bit. So I know there are enemies in the base up here from when I visited last time. An infestation of sorts. And usually, and I know they came from there, but they might come from there too. In fact, there's one right now. Ugly bastards. They're well named Trog. Oh, you got staggered. And you're dead. I know I saw another one there. gonna take the uh, tridents though. Too heavy. Instead, give me back my arrows and give me your clothing. What's down here? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out together. Spooky, spooky. So much goddamn fog. I can barely see anything, which I guess is the point. Green shrooms. For eating. A nice little snack. Doesn't look suspicious at all. What's this say? This guy looks like he's seen better days. Danger going forward will strand you in the wilderness until you make your way back to the village. Really? So this is the exit, hmm? I should really brought my travel rations with me. Well, let's go ahead and turn back for now, I guess. At least we now know where the exit of this thing is and where it leads. so far what's here there's a box nothing of value hold to mine an iron vein hmm interesting so there was a mine in here such as it was.
Yeah, that's seriously all there is to this area. I'm just gonna go back, grab my stuff, and we'll go out adventuring. But first, I'm gonna sell their chunk. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the lantern. Save its oil. <laughs> what can I do for you? What can All I do right. for you? Oh, that's really loud. My bad. I'll need to lower that a bit. For sure. Appears that my nomad backpack is spazzing out on the ground at the moment. Iron scrap. Some linen cloth. A makeshift hat. A fang axe from killing animals and taking their skins. to bring with me. I need to be very careful with this. Since we're going out hunting and exploring, let's go ahead and bring stuff for that purpose. So, oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, move to bag. Bring the flint and steel. Move to bag. Bring the fur tent. Bring some salt with me. Fuel for my gear, money. <laughs> Use cooking pot. I need to get my jam from earlier. Move to bag. In order to make some tartine. <laughs> Alright. Miner's omelet. No idea what else is required for this, though. Ah, eggs. So I need to get eggs then. We can get eggs just e or very easily from outside. With my minimum items, I'm already pushing it as far as being able to carry stuff with me. Do I really need the felling great axe? Or am I gonna just go it alone with the hatchet? 
think I'll stick with the hatchet. And I'll bring the mining pick with me in case I need to switch to a heavier weapon or to go pick up stuff. Hmm, I just realized that my categories are messed up. Oh wait, no, my tags are correct, okay. For a moment there, I thought something was screwy. This weighs nothing, so I'll keep that. I like my mask. Makes me run faster. Definitely need to bring the water with me. Can I afford to bring the teas? Hmm. The tea doesn't weigh that much. Okay. Gonna eat lunch. Yeah, it's around lunchtime. Bring this as an emergency. I really need to make bandages. I need more cloth. Where am I gonna find cloth? Uh, killing people, I guess. This looks useful. Alright. I'm getting pretty heavy here. I think it's time that we get going. Yeah. Once more into the breach, as they say. Need something? A defensive technique with a two hand sword? I can't afford that. We gotta make money and kill things, find stuff to sell, complete quests, all that good stuff. Typical adventuring stuff, really. Oh man, it's beautiful out here. I've said that before, but it's spare. It's worth saying again. Oh, and I just remembered that I forgot to bring my cooking pot with me. Well, it's fine. Do corpses not disappear in this game? Why are they still here? Well, I digress. We are here, and we want to go find the crashed ship somewhere, but where would we find that? Perhaps following the coast all the way down here would show us something? I guess it's a good plan as any. We would stop by the Vendable Fortress. Do, 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 do. Where's my...
What time is it also in game? It's only one in the afternoon. I love games like this that really reward exploration, but also can get you killed if you explore too much. I like also finding all these stashes they were. Mm, bullets. Hmm. Don't have a pistol yet, so let's keep that there for now. They'll be there waiting for me anyway. Cute butterflies. Big crayfish over there on the outskirts. Izan says that there is a ship around here somewhere, but where would I find it? Me going along the coast would give us some answers. And I wonder if I had exited underneath there, would I have ended up on the beach? Giant starfish over there. Is there a way to get down here safely without killing myself? I probably shouldn't risk it. <laughs> do, do. Do, 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 do. This music never gets old. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Good thing he's stuck there. I could probably just sneak around him. Decent boots. Promotion that makes you angry. Don't mind if I do. In fact, resistance is one, cold weather defense is three. Let's see what this is. Uh, these are way better. Go ahead and stick my boots in here instead. Makes you angry, and what's the other one, the other thing I found? Bandages, so I don't die. I wonder if I can kill that. Oh, the AI is a lot better. Seth said that they just kind of sit there and let you kill them for a while. Until they figure out where you finally are. That is clearly not the case here, but the crayfish does not know how to get to me. So it's just sitting pretty for the time being. Sure is taking a lot of arrows to kill this though. In fact, it knows how to dodge too, which is kind of a problem. I'm about to run out of arrows and I don't think this thing is dead yet. Uh, I'm out of arrows now. Alright. Oh, shit. Why did I do that? But with my last arrow, I slay this foul beast. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Insect husk. Move to bag. Larva egg. Okay, let's pick up our loosed arrows here. I like how they even have shadow on the ground. Make it easier to see, to find where they are. Man, that sea is beautiful. Mm 
I wasn't able to get back most of my arrows, and I don't have enough to kill a crayfish over there either. Big ass shellfish. And starfish to boot. Are these starfish dead? Well, they're certainly not moving. And that's here's of storage, so I was right. You can just go there for storage. I love seeing stuff like this big ass ribs here because it gives the impression that it gives you really a hu a real sense of the sense of scale in this game. Also these big ass um shells as well. Let's try to avoid attracting this uh giant crayfish here. Oh. Poor Michael Aberdeen. Oh no, I think the shrimp sees me. Let's run away. Don't have nearly enough arrows to kill that. And the arrows that I recovered from the body of the other shrimp were not enough. And I probably need to buy more, find more, or make more later. What time is it? 428? Time sure goes by fast in this game, doesn't it? Back off, chicken! You know what's good for you, you'll back off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Honestly. Oh, there is a cave here. Interesting. Now, I wonder if this is named Starfish Cave, because you actually get to fire fight starfish, or what? Are you supposed to swim here, or...? I got a bad feeling about this. There's stuff clearly down there underwater, but I don't know how you're supposed to get to that. Or even if you can. Because, well, there's a shiny thing down there, which implies that you can. But the game is not letting me swim. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I camp could camp here for a night and be safe.
Don't you look at that? I'm mining the shells. So that's what that does. And there's some fish over here that I could have. Could I? Yeah, I thought so. Unfortunately, I left the harpoon back at home. It's rather heavy. Can make something out of the seaweed just fine though. In retrospect, I should probably have brought my cooking pot with me. Much delicious seaweed to be found. Hmm? What's here? Ah, uh, a corpse. Flux Mountain. Wonder where I am right now. I was able to see Conflux Mountain to the far left of me. Through the mountains. So I'm probably around here. Such huge ammonites too. A uh, beetle? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So that stuff was called blue sand. Craft armor is made of blue steel alloy. That's an alchemical ingredient. And there was that area in the cave, the tro trog cave, that required an aquamarine. So we'll need to visit there sometime. I see in the far distance a ship of some kind. Ooh, pistol shrimp. Which means we're probably right here. Hmm. Let's go in that direction, see what there is to find. I need to get past the shrimp first, though. It's a shame you can't swim in this game. 
Oops, I think. That would be really useful right about now. I like that the render distance allows me to see the lighthouse way over there. Hmm, what's that animal? And more importantly, can I fight it? I should probably avoid it though. If we're going to go to sleep, we might as well do it in a relatively safe position, such as atop that cliff up there or on top of this rock. Most likely on top of the cliff. I don't think the game's gonna let me sit there on top of the rock. Hmm. Starry, starry night. I see. Wonder what all that flying stuff around the moon is, honestly. It almost looks like it has its own orbit or something. Maybe that is exactly what's going on there. And what is this? Trog infiltration. Another trog home. Of the Trog people. Alright. Let's set up camp here. If we can. We can set up camp here. Who'd have thought? Are you going to let me sleep in it? Hmm. Jank. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So the Oh. I see. Let's go to sleep. Did we survive? You are thirsty. Well, I have just a cure for that. And I'm all rested. <laughs> According to my map, I should be around someplace here. I was just doing general exploring, but...
I don't mind checking inside here really quick before we continue our way down towards the fortress and hopefully towards the location of the aforementioned ship. I do wonder where that ship is though, because it's not showing on the map. <laughs> Slowly, without killing myself, please. Alright. Let's see what there is in here. Chersonese Miscellaneous Dungeons, then. Maybe we can get ourselves some new weapons and armor. Or we can just kill a lot of trogs. Oh, oh shit. Well, that was not a good experience. <laughs> Let's not enter the air again until we are better equipped. <laughs> I'm not losing it, right? Shizan did say that there is a ship here. Somewhere down there, anyway. see what there is to find at the Vandeville Forest, or the uh, Fortress. Vandeville Fortress. Oh, that's not good. I have a bad feeling about that guy there. Might be a bandit. If he starts running at us... Hey Ace, how are you? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a bandit. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, what the shit? Did I unequip my hatchet? I did. That's dumb. I unequipped it again, what the shit? Well, I killed my first human in this game. Feels great, man. It looks like the key really is to just... drop your pack on the ground. Uh, his life has been thoroughly ended, let me tell you. Now I need to heal up before I bleed to death. Machete. A bunch of arrows, thank you. Dry mushroom bar, which I'm going to eat immediately, and some travel rations. <laughs> Maybe I'll sell his machete. What a shitty weapon. His life has been ended, Ace. Life ended. I should probably eat breakfast. A celebratory breakfast. Of Gaberry Tartine. I'm not thirsty, am I? Eh. 
Let's drink some anyway. Unequipping your only weapon, an interesting tactical decision. No doubt a five head move. Well, since I am alive, it clearly was, wasn't it? <laughs> Where am I? Yeah, I'm um, over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, basically, I'm trying to find that ship that Yazan told us about really early in the game. And I walked all along the coast over here and did not find any ship. But I did see a ship docked at a fortress over here, so I'm going around to go find it and see what's over there at the fortress. Maybe there's people to, like, trade stuff with. <laughs> I decided not to go to Conflux Mountain to learn magic just yet. I think that's a hyena. Or people to kill. That's true. Eventually, I'm going to just kill all the bandits in retaliation for what they put me through earlier in the game. Uh-oh. Pretty sure those are bandits too. And there's two of them this time. That's going to be a pain in the ass to fight. Let's try avoiding them for now. Is this really a fortress? It looks like another town. An uh, old lantern? Uh, what the f... I'm getting kind of paranoid. I thought I heard something for a moment there. Um... Uh, get the salt. Uh, I'll sell the quarter staff when I get to town. Uh, this is actually... I have not started a new save. This is the same save as before. I've pretty much salvaged... I didn't get my lighthouse back yet. But... Or, I didn't get my lighthouse back, but I... I'm pretty much doing pretty well for myself right now. If I'd say so myself. Do you hear something? Oh. Huh. It looks like there's a soldier over there that's uh, fighting an animal. A bird. A black bird of some kind. I don't know if it's a good guy or a bad guy. The bird just killed the fucking... What? It just killed a knight in armor or some shit. Did you see that? Uh, if that knight thing couldn't fight the bird off, what chance do I have? Fuck this. I'm going to lead the bird into these bandits and let them fight each other. That bird is... Oh, it's fucking... Look, it's lighting up purple. There's no way I can fight that. Oh man, that bird's crazy. It's a good thing I could run so fucking fast, but I need to get higher ground. I won't be able to outrun this thing forever. No! Oh shit, 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 shit! Goddamn birds! Is it still following? Oh! That guy dropped a lot of loot, too. Why is he still following me? Shit. I'm actually actively getting tired now. Oh, this uh, guy here is trying to help me out. He's attacking the bird specifically. Maybe if we do two on one, we could, uh, we could stop this bird. Oh, I just remembered I can how I just learned remembered how to tab target. Yeah, take that, bird. Uh, the bird just ate a quarter more of my health. No, stop running, asshole bird. Stop running. Shit. 
Now we're all chasing the bird at once. That bird is taking off like fucking sonic speed. It is gone. The bird is gone. The bird is hiding. Let's see if we can kill the bird from afar. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually killed the bird. Let's loot its corpse for cool stuff. Oh, man. I need to heal. Where's my... Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can I loot the bird while fighting these guys? No, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, I do get the bird in night loot. And it looks like my stamina has respawned also. Oh shit, that hurt. Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. Oh, and I just wasted that. Great. Ha! Eat kick. Why are you targeting the wrong person, game? I cannot afford to die right now. Um, I guess this guy is not bad. Is not bad because he's not immediately trying to kill. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, I'm probably bleeding to death right now. Oh, you could. I can get away from him. Okay. Um, I could. I could. I can fix this. I can fix this. Uh. Where's my... Am I out of... Shit. Um... Good thing they gave up so quickly. Damn. I mean, what the shit? I was getting my ass handed to me just now. Restores burnt health. Well, I need to wait. No compatible melee weapons equipped? Well, damn it. Did you really just dodge that? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You're dead. This became a lot easier when I remembered you're supposed to be tagged targeting. <laughs> he fucking dodged the bullet. Hey, look, a sword. Loot the banded archer. Okay. Food. Don't need your bow. So as you can see, I'm doing a lot better now. It's so much loot. <laughs> Man. This is... Once you get used to the mechanics, and I guess this is true of every game, once you get used to the mechanics, this game really becomes something, you know? A guess arm. Salt. Gold. Or silver, I should say. Bird, knight, two bandits. Whoa, bandit defender and... Oh, so this this was a bandit too. He was just a stronger bandit. Bruh. <laughs> Look at all this free shit I'm getting. A tower shield. It's not gonna let me pick up his armor though. That sucks. That's okay though. I have a shield now. I got a much better, much, much better shield now. Hell yeah! <laughs> and a, an actual sword? I got the biggest smile on my face, not gonna lie. Hell yeah! <laughs> Lola's up, please nerf. Oh, there's one more, one more bandit still alive.
Gonna drop my bag really quick. Do, 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 do. Actually, uh, open Nomad backpack. Equip backpack. Because just like in medieval times, what they would do is... Supposedly, they would drop their bags before fighting. Which, you know, makes a lot of sense, right? Of course you would drop your bag before fighting, so you could dodge around and stuff. Because that makes sense, right? Of course you would do that. Look at this dodge-rolling motherfucker. Alright. Oh, damn it. I got my ass handed to me by a bunch of bandits. But I was just taken to Vendival Fortress. Good thing the fortress is right there. Unfortunately, and it's a good thing I dropped my bag too, which means it's probably still there. No, the shield... I didn't block in time with the attacks. Uh-oh. Oh no. Vandalva Fortress is a banded fortress. I thought it was the fortress of someone else. So, I'm stuck in this place and now I need to work and stuff. I don't even know how I'm going to get out now. Shit, I'm, I've, I got enslaved. Damn. You need a shiv, okay. Ooh boy, this is definitely not a game for kids. So she wants me to make her or give her a shiv. How do you make a shiv? I didn't learn how to make a shiv, believe it or not. Okay, uh, wood and a sh- that makes a fucking... What happens if I combine these two there? Ah! I learned how to make a shiv! The shiv is made out of a piece of metal and a piece of cloth. Okay. Damn. Give me a hand, will you? All right, all right, good luck. So, she gave me... I gave her a shiv, and she taught me how to use backstab on people, and I just learned a skill. Okay. So now I just need another piece of metal, and then I can backstab the shit out of people and escape this uh, mining complex, I guess. <laughs> I could come jump down to my death, I guess. An iron vein? So if I had a pickaxe, I could mine some iron shards, which I will then use to make another shiv, which I'll then use to shiv the fuck out of someone. Oh, this is troubling. Alright, so I'm going to find them pickaxe then. Because they're asking for a pickaxe. Uh, take a mining pick, okay. But first, before I do that, I'm going to mine... A little bit myself, and then I'm going to make myself a shift. Only problem is I need cloth to make a shift, don't I? What happens if I... Do this. Okay, that makes arrows. So I need to find cloth somewhere. Are these all... Are these my slave drivers? These are just slaves, what right? Is it? Give me a hand, will you? You give your silver free work, or you can ask the guard, and if you're nice, he'll let you go help the cook or the medic. <laughs> wow, this is... I like how a lot of things that you take for granted in Skyrim as mods are basically core gameplay mechanics of this game. I'm wearing a bra. We're actually wearing a cloak. 
I don't have a bra. <laughs> I think you can actually rip apart your clothes to make... You can! You can rip apart your clothes to make... To uh, make um, cloth, can't you? This river water is probably bad for you. Is this a guard or an under prisoner? Is there something you need? Oh, this guy is selling stuff, huh? I have 30 of silver, and I can make a bunch of these things. Interesting. Hmm. Why are you giving me a face? Uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Thank you for your aid. Some eggs, thank you. Let's get another mining pickaxe really quick. Okay. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not like this terror cloth does much for me anyway. Now I'm just in my undies. It's a good thing I haven't found any mods that, you know, do something with the undies. Not that I could stream that anyway, but... Mm hmm And now to make... I'm very thirsty right now, too. Wait, I'm holding a knife and it's not letting me... Oh, probably because... So, even though I have a knife equipped, when you push the attack button, it just punches. You have to actually equip a skill for stabbing someone with a knife. That's an interesting choice, but... And I'm also half dead, so that's probably not a good idea anyway. I need to make myself... What I do need to make, though, are some bandages, because I'm starting to die here. And I need to cook my eggs because eating them raw is so bad for you. What is interesting? Oh, the fact that, yeah, it is weird, I would even say. Do they only have picks down here? Is there anything else I can get? Oh no, come on. Listen close. They actually teach you how to... That's interesting. Okay. So, I need to go talk to the cook. And they're gonna teach... And I'm going to convince them to let me cook some food. I also really need water. I wonder how much they pay you anyway. What is for mining it? silver. All right, you've earned this. Five silver? Are you serious? What a ripoff. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you later. What now? Do this for me. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cook a miner's omelet for the old lady. 
He's also trapped here. Oh man, I could just stab the shit out of these people, couldn't I? Here's the plan. Pay attention. You know how to make them, right? Mix water, blood mushroom, and a grave beetle. I have a few I have a fellow whose life depends on one. Okay. Now I know how to make a life potion. Alternatively, I could murder the shit out of everyone in this room, but I'm not going to. I mean, that would be cruel, right? <laughs> you know, for bandits, they are very well organized, aren't they? Ooh, a dagger. So they're considered off weapons, and that's why. I guess a pocket. I guess a tent would not serve me any good right now. But now I have a dagger, a legit dagger, and for some reason, no one seems to notice that I'm carrying a dagger with me, with which I can use to kill people, like this chef over here. Oh, here's what I need. Nine meat stews. Okay. But I need to make some eggs for the old lady. Needs a common mushroom though. Where am I gonna find a common mushroom? Is there a mushroom around here? Don't cross me. Wait, what? What? Not again? Really? Are you shitting me right now? Great. And they took all my stuff too, so... Awesome, I fucked up. How am I supposed to feed the lady now? <laughs> Are they going to let me even try to help the cook out again, or am I just fucked? Oh no, come on. Alright, let's ask them again. What now? Do this for me. So, they're going to let me, even though, or do this again, even, well, they confiscated all my stuff. Oh, here's what I need. Okay. Fine, I'll make a bunch of meats too, so holy shit. You've earned this. Great, he gave me a dry mushroom bar to eat. Which does nothing. <laughs> I was supposed to... Can I get replacement eggs to use? Yum, yum, yum. Hey, I found all my stuff. Cool. Now I can just kill everyone in here. Well, that's going to be actually really difficult, so I'm not going to do that. But if I can just find my bag. My bag's outside. I'm fucking dumb. Damn it. But if I could just find a mushroom. Wait, isn't this my bag too? What? Oh, my bag got teleported inside somehow.
They put a lot of quality of life stuff in here, I gotta say. I mean, this simplifies things from a gameplay perspective, makes it less difficult, but also... It kind of fucks with the immersion that's sort of built up already, you know? We're going to have to drop my bag anyway to make the... To make the, um... But I think what I'm going to do now... My current plan is to do all the quests for the people down living down here, and then equip my armor and uh, try to escape, I guess. If I can. Don't need that. Definitely don't need two pick or two mining pickaxes. Mm, thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and make some miners omelet for the old lady. So far, it looks like they have not suspected a thing, chat. Oh no, come on. Much appreciated. She gave me some linen cloth. Thank you. I'm gonna eat some Minos Omelette myself, too. Get some nice buffs. Since I got bandages now, I can make a bunch of bandages. And make another shiv, I guess. Because why not? Kinda look like Lara Croft from this angle. Going to refill all of my water thing, my jiggers as well. While this guy, while this NPC here looks on. I like how the NP, how it's kind of funny how my pack is just there, and they don't even care that I'm going to and from it. May they figure that I can't escape. Let's go back to the medic tent to see how we can help these people. Here's the plan. You've earned this. Here's the plan. So I need to save someone with a potion, right? With a life potion. Where am I going to find this stuff, anyway? Is there like- is it like sitting around or something? 
Maybe if I look around long enough, I'll find the cop. Find some? Can I even kill people in this without the game realizing that I've killed some people? Yeah, I was thinking the same too. There's quite a lot of them. I'm not sure if I will be strong enough to kill all these people, but what I can do is I can probably do it slow. Like, maybe I can backstab the shit out of them or something. Either way, I'll need the key to escape from here. What is it? Give me a hand, will you? The hole is clearly a place where people where they kill off their you need? where they kill off people, but a corpse? Dark workerhood. Elemental resistance potion and stability potion. Man, this guy was stacked. I wonder if he committed suicide or something. Oh, blood mu blood mushrooms. One ochre spice beetle. So everything you need really is in this area. You just need to find them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, if that's true, that should also mean that there should be... Is this person dead, too? Or are they asleep? Oh. You know what? Oh my god, this is terrible. I just realized something. This was the lady who taught me how to make a shiv. I think she committed suicide. <laughs> That's horrible. That's actually really horrible. That the game went there. Because she was said she was gonna be she was she had a way to get out, right? And she just needed a shiv, right? Because I was just thinking, like, she said she had a plan. She wanted, uh, she needed a shiv for the plan. She taught me how to make her a shiv. I made her a shiv, and now she's dead. That's horrible. Meanwhile, who knows where this leads. So, blood mushroom. What do I need to make life potions again? I need the blood shroom. I need... Thank you, Faye, for giving me something to eat. I was actually getting kind of hungry. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Long time no talk. How have you been? <laughs> it's been a very long time. gonna find a gravel beetle or whatever <laughs> love you too yeah I don't get it Scarab found in mineral ores whose resin hardens one's body from impact. 
So I have to keep mining the iron things until I just find one. I'm tired. My hard drive crashed on my PC. So I'm working on getting a new one. On my laptop at the moment, getting the Windows boot stuff going. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your computer feels better soon. No! Am I gonna have to use the gravel beetle that I picked up from outside the level in order to finish this part of the quest? I guess that's how I'll have to be because I don't see any more things here to mine. The game seems to be slowing down a bit, but I'm assuming that's because I underclocked my graphics card to get this to play without crashing. And so far it has not crashed, knock on wood. <laughs> Is there anything to loot in here? No? Okay. Let's do it. So let's uh, save this person. Thanks. Luckily, I didn't have, like, pics on it, and I should be able to get whatever was on there from emails and we're downloading stuff. That's good to hear. I'll loot your nuts. Oh, I need water too? Damn it. <laughs> I wonder how much loot I'll be able to escape with once I complete this. One life potion made. Here's the plan. You have my thanks. Is that it? Here's the plan. I was just making money this whole time? There's nothing else? Ah. Uh... What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to buy my way out of poverty or some shit? What now? Do this for me. What now? <sighs> Meals are five silver. Get to work before you starve. <sighs> oh my god. What now? Hm. Not happening. Now you're not getting out for anything less than 30 silver. So you need at least, you need to make at least 30 silver to escape. Well, that sucks. Can I just kill everyone? They're wearing some high end gear, so I don't think I could even if I tried. Let me go ahead and get my stuff, though, because I do have enough money to pay them off to leave. Which is our ultimate goal in this area, anyway. Only problem is I have so I've picked up so much crap that I actually cannot move. So I'll need to dump a lot of these things. Things they don't need, necessarily. Brutal Club does 29 damage. Wow. Don't need the plank shield anymore. Don't need this. Equip this.
This is kind of breaking the game a bit since I'm pretty much just finding ways, since I'm pretty much just cheesing the system. But, eh. I don't want to be trapped in here forever. So I'll let this immersion breaking part of the game slide, you know? I do want to leave with these high end with this high end equipment though. I'll drop the machete. I want to keep the iron sword for sure. Uh, let me see if I could use up some of this stuff. One cooked larva egg. Cooked mushroom. Oh. That wasted the... I guess you can't cook that mushroom after all. Dump the food waste. I said dump the food waste. Not take the food waste. Damn it. All right, increases your impact resistance, so that's for fighting people. I could really use some sword skills, you know. Because Sony skills, this requires a one-handed axe. This is for stabbing people with daggers. And you could set people on fire by throwing a lantern at them. Which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I can survive fighting all these guys off though. So it's probably not a good idea. Let's go off and pay our debts and get out of here. What now? Hmm. Fine. <laughs> and so by bribing the guard I was able to get out instead of just killing one of them and escaping and uh, escaping easy indeed it could have been worse that's for sure count your blessings and all that Imagine this was a real hardcore game. <laughs> 
Still, I can't believe this was a bandit camp this whole time. That's kind of sad. All right, we all set? Hmm. Seems some of my stamina is burned. I guess that's what happens when you're stuck in there for a while. Good thing I got stuff that can unburn it. Like a mineral tea. <laughs> do, 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 do. Huh? What in the world is... Impact resistance up by 25%. Wow, that's pretty cool. This restores burnt stamina. Do 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 do. Okay. That was a hell of an adventure, wasn't it? And yet, we still didn't find the place I was looking for. Okay, I'm trying to find... I guess we can check the beach. I still can't believe this fortress belongs to the bandits. Like, this is a kind of a big-ass fortress, isn't it? What are these? Like, the Taliban or something? Indeed. It even let me go back inside. Well, now, what do we have here? A lost traveler? What? But we have everything you need inside. Come on in. No, no, I think you're sick. You need to see our medic right away. I insist. Uh, no. Yeah, let me just flee. Like, I had, too mu had way too much equipment and armor anyway. I'm not fighting that guy. Are you kidding? Now then, let's go ahead and explore this beach. We need to. I'm still trying to look for. The ship that Yazan was talking about. I'm trying to find it and not having any luck lately. We got some Ammonite to sell as well. Do, 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 do. Do we not have any arrows equipped? There we go. Alright, now that everything's rearranged, I'm no longer heavy. See, they have like a really fancy ship over there, right? I was hoping to go visit that, but these assholes decided to capture me instead.
Seashells, seashells by the seashore. I really wish I did not leave my cooking pot back at home. Are those boats? Hmm. Yeah. So where do we go from here? There's another bandit camp up there. There's a bandit camp up there. There's a fort over there, which is empty. Ancient runes over here. Cabal of the Wind Tower. And Hild Marsh and Emrakul Forest is over there. It feels like the only civilization for a while. Heavy update when. Who knows. I guess the only thing we can really do is to just head back to town. Sell my stuff. And continue on our adventure. There's some more bandits over there. I don't really feel like fighting them right now because I don't have any room to gather more stuff, but... To do, to do, to do, to do. I wish the game would have saved what that guy was saying about 